you've formed a really strong bond with your golf grips, then you'll be happy to know that there's an easy way to take them off and put them onto a new set of golf clubs. And all you need for doing this with is some type of paint thinning type of liquid, so turpentine or white spirit does the job. And the only other thing that you need along with one of them is one of these, and this is called a golf grip rod. So whoever come up with that name must have spent a lot of time trying to think of what to call it. I'll link it in the description if you want to have a look. This one cost me about 30 or 40 pounds. Unless you're doing quite a few, it's probably not worth it and it'll probably benefit you more just, you know, buying new grips instead of buying one of these to take them off. So if you're thinking of doing a few, it's definitely worth investing in one of these. But yeah, that's all you need to take off one of your grips. It actually takes like two minutes to do it. It is a really straightforward process. The only thing I would say, if your grip's getting on a bit, it's a bit old and it's a bit worn, it might tear a hole in it. But if it's in that sort of condition anyway, then it's probably time you got your clubs re-gripped anyway. If you're using white spirit or turpentine, it's a good idea to do it outside because it does smell really strong. It also might cause a bit of a mess, so it's definitely a good idea to do it outside. I'm not, I'm just going to do it in the shed in here because I do it every day, so it only take me like a minute or two. That and I'm just built different. Having said that though, I've literally just put this grip on. That's why it's a bit wet on the bottom because I took it off the other day and I wanted to put it on to show you the video and it's, it's really strong smelling. So let's get on with this before I end up gassing myself out. <laughs> So I'm going to be using gloves for this, I don't normally but I do have a big cut on my hand and if you get white spirit into any cuts or anything it really does sting. So taking the rod, I'm just going to stick it in the end of the grip down here and I'm going to slide it in as far as it can go really, which with this because I've only just put it on it goes down pretty far to start with but just get it in as far as you can, don't try and force it because that's when you might start ripping the grip if it's not in like 100% condition and once you have it in sort of as far as it will go just try and lift the grip up away from the shaft slightly just so you can get the spirit or whatever you're using down the side of the grip and inside it uh, that's why i've got a towel underneath it just to catch anything that I kind of missed but once you put that down you should be able to slide the rod down even further and once you've got it down as far as it'll go with that bit of liquid in it you can start then to twist it round and it's just about getting the tape away from the inside of the grip and once it all sort of slackens off uh, you should be able to push it down even further so it's just pushing down and twisting and just getting all the tape away from the grip and just keep doing that until you pretty much reach the, right at the bottom of the grip and you should be able to even hear the, the tape coming away from it but that's basically all there is to it twisting and pushing so once you get right to the end you should be able to just sort of push it off and it will just slide off like so. Once you've taken it off, uh, if there was quite a lot of tape before, just to give the inside of the grip a, a bit of a rinse out. Just give it a rinse with a bit of water or something. Just so when you put it back on, it's, you don't feel all the bumps and stuff in it. The shaft will probably look something like that, so you clear all your, your tape and stuff off of that. So yeah, that's literally all there is to it. I did tell you it was going to be dead easy and straightforward. Once you know how to do it, it is really easy. Probably forgot to mention there, because that grip is already quite wet inside, it come off quite easy. Sometimes it's not as easy as that, and you just have to pour more liquid into it until... Like I say, it just gets the tape away from the inside of the grip. But they're never much more difficult than what that was. But yeah, hopefully that's just uh, helped a few people out if you were wondering if it can be done or not. If you don't fancy doing it yourself, I'm sure that most golf clubs will have one of them rods lying about. So just ask them if they can do it for you. They might charge you a few quid, but it's definitely worth it if you've just had your clubs re-gripped. And yeah, that's all from me today. I need to get out of here before I get even more gassed out than I already am. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.